Hi everybody. I sure enjoyed this uh, the weekend seminar and having the chance to see everyone in person. Uh, and sure appreciate Dr. Nolan and Dr. Flora for your time and the, the great lineup of speakers and just the good good day and a half that we had. Uh, wanted to talk a little bit about our reading for the week and of course the, the Pasquarella and Terenzini book, How College Affects Students. Um, I have wandered in and out of this work over 14 years uh, for a variety of reasons, be it doing uh, research for a grant or um, in my master's degree program um, or looking for information uh, research to back up a given uh, program or idea that we might be considering on, on one of our campuses. Um, I've had a lot of interaction with with uh, Pasquarella and Terenzini and their work, they're obviously thought leaders on uh, college engagement, on college's impact on students, and uh, it's good to, to pick up the, the new volume uh, and, and spend more time in it than I have before. Uh, really good to see the, the work that they've updated. It's, uh, it's not necessarily an easy text to read. It doesn't just roll right off the tongue. Uh, but what it, it does provoke a lot of thought and so um, for my limited time for my reading analysis for the week I'm really I'm, I'm going to focus on on chapters 5 and 6 which are our psychosocial change and attitudes and values and those are the chapters that really have more impact on me um, from the from the front half of the book than uh, probably any others as a student services professional as someone who uh, spends a lot of time thinking about programming and interventions uh, and ways to help students have uh, positive experiences uh, on campus. Uh, of course we are all concerned about the experience in the classroom but I spend much of my time concerned about that interaction outside the classroom and what, um, what are students receiving from that, from that experience. Um, you know, I'm always drawn to uh, the aspects that address community college students compared to students at four-year universities. And so particularly uh, in the psychosocial change chapter, uh, they, uh, Pascal and Terenzini talk a, a, a little bit about the impact that um, to your students um, having and developing their internal locus of control. Uh, and that maybe is not an obvious point but if you think about it and you've, you've worked in a community college for a while then it, maybe it makes sense I think probably students don't uh, if to broad to, to, to paint with a broad brush students don't arrive to community college probably as self-confident as uh, students may arrive at a four-year university um, and so I think that that the work that we do in community colleges helps students to um, know that they have more control for themselves, that they uh, can make their decisions, they don't have to uh, be entirely influenced by outside forces. I, I, one way that um, we say it in some of our work is that you know you you want to be the driver of your own car, you don't want to be a passenger uh, in your car's life and journey. You're, you want to be in the driver's seat and I think that's probably a, a colloquialism to say uh, the research that, that Pascal and Terenzini put together here um, about how students uh, in a community college are more likely to, to, uh, to be influenced to find an internal locus of control than students in a four-year university. Um, you know they also talk a good bit about how how important positive academic experiences are for uh, students in community colleges, for those students who are first generation uh, and who are underprepared, that they are more likely to be uh, to be influenced and to have greater impact by having positive academic experiences, um, like a good orientation program, like a mentoring program, uh, things that connect them to campus. Their research shows that they're less likely to do those things, but when they do participate in them, uh, the impact is much greater for a first-generation college student than a, than a college student whose parents graduated from college. And again, that's probably not too surprising, but 
good good things to think about and what it makes me think about as a practitioner is what do I need to be doing? What do I need to be encouraging my staff to do? What do we need to be doing as a college to make sure we're putting those positive academic experiences in place for students? That we're creating that atmosphere that allows them to have positive psychosocial change. Uh, think that one of the things that I'm, I'm struck by in chapters 5 and 6 is how consistently Pascrell and Tierney talk about uh, the positive impacts of service learning programs. And I have not worked at a community college that did a good job with service learning. And that's something that um, I've kind of got my eye on looking out into the future. It's not uh, something that we're going to be in a position to tackle in the next six months. but. Uh, their research really backs up how valuable uh, those experiences are for student development, uh, the impact that, the, that participating in service learning has on how students feel about themselves, the impact that it has on how students see the world around them, how it affects their values, um, how it affects the way that they go about approaching life. And, you know, that's so much of what, what this book is about, what this text is about, is what does college do to, for students in, in moving forward, moving out in, into their lives? And it's a thorough and, and deep analysis um, of, of the impact of, of those things, how, how college broadens minds and attitudes. And, and, you know, I think we all hope, and, and it's more evident probably than ever right now uh, in where we are as a culture of the need for tolerance the the need for calm and the need for the need for rational conversation and so the, the work that that Pascarell and Terrence and you put together really show how important the college going experience is for that and how how valuable it is versus the, where uh, students don't get that experience and and it cuts across every type they don't make distinctions in the importance of values and attitudes in a, in a broad sense whether you are attending a community college a, a regional four university a highly selective private university in all those instances students minds and thought processes are widened and expanded i, I know for me i grew up in a very rural area went to a very small high school and so sitting in community college class and then even more so transferring to university class was really uh, a broadening experience for me um, in terms of the types of people I was in class with the, and, and you can slice that across any number of diversity measures or, or demographics that you want to but it's just a very different experience to to be with people from different areas with different life backgrounds and, and we know how valuable that is uh, at every level community college to to the most selective four-year private school uh, you know, we we want to encourage our students to be to be thought leaders, and I think uh, just in closing, the, the the thing that I take away from this kind of this front half of this book is the the intrinsic value of college for students. Uh, I think probably one reason we all do the work that we do is we're drawn to that same intrinsic value. We're drawn to. Uh, being a part of that shaping of minds and helping students to see a bigger world. And so um, looking forward to, to digging into the back half of the book and, and uh, learning some more. Uh, again, great to be with everybody this weekend and have a good week.